I'm Jessica Gartalia. Here are some of the stories that WJZ is working on this afternoon. Hey everyone, Rick Ritter here with WJZ. We are en route to Annapolis today for a firearms protective order hearing. This comes obviously two weeks or a little more than two weeks after the shooting in Florida that left 17 people dead. And then last week we had Corporal Mujahid Ramsden, the Prince George's County officer who was killed by a suspect that police say should not have had firearms. Now yesterday the governor, he did a big press conference talking about all this money he was going to be allocating to the school system in the state. But he also talked about this bill that he would support keeping firearms out of the hands of the mentally ill. Now this bill specifically, it says that if family or law enforcement, they present clear evidence to a judge showing that somebody uh, should not have a firearm, then that judge would have the privilege or the opportunity to take that firearm away from that individual for up to a year if law enforcement and the family uh, present strong evidence. So this is a big talker here in Annapolis. Uh, Prince George's County State's Attorney Angelo also Brooks. She will be in attendance today in support of this bill because of course, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, Corporal Mujahid Ramsden was gunned down last week by a suspect that police say should not have had firearms and had three open warrants out for his arrest. So again, uh, a big talker here, and we're going to have a lot more on the story throughout the day. You can follow along online for updates, and then of course on WJZ tonight, we will be live from Annapolis at 5 and 6 o'clock. So recently there's been talk about putting a, a plane back up over the skies of Baltimore that can take images of the city streets. It's something that was done in 2016. Um, there were some people who had privacy concerns about it and didn't even know it was happening. Uh, it, it turned into a, a bit of a mess, but, but supporters are hoping that now that it's more transparent that things will be different. And I'm with Joyce Jones, and, and you're a supporter of this plane that's, that's going up and taking indeed. these pictures. Tell I'm, me why. I'm a supporter because I don't believe that one solution will work. I think we need more than one solution. Fighting crime is a uh, multifaceted, multi, it has uh, many facets and many tentacles. And I believe that this would be one tentacle that will help reduce and deter crime if they know that they're being watched. Um, uh, the cameras can actually uh, prevent uh, a crime as well as solve a crime. And, and something I've also heard mentioned is that in cases of police corruption, it will show what the police are doing in their actions. Well, what it does, it gives an unbiased opinion, an uh, 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 unbiased photo of what, what actually happened. Um, um, so it will track backwards. Um, it, it's sparked by a 911 call. They're just not, uh, and they can go and target that area. They can look at where the picture was taken. Yes, and, and begin at the scene and go backwards and retrace the crime. I mean, is, is it too much, some people would say Big Brother, is it too much we're, we're, we're watching you all the time? Well, they're watching us anyway. You're watched on Google, you're watched on uh, at the bank, you're watched at the store, you're watched at the, at, at the hospitals, you're watched everywhere you go, you're watched. And there are cameras everywhere. There are cameras in church. Uh, so there are cameras everywhere. So it shouldn't be a threat that the cameras are in the air. I mean... Well, excellent perspective, and I know there are a number of supporters out there. They're, they're hoping to get this plane back up and running. Uh, the mayor made some comments yesterday at her press briefing where she sounded favorable toward it and said it could be another tool in the toolbox. She said there'd probably be a city council hearing, and they wanted to make sure it's transparent. We'll have more tonight on WJZ. I'm Alex Dimitri. Coming up on WJZ and WJZ.com, the billions of dollars that could come Maryland's way if Amazon chooses to build a new headquarters in Montgomery County. Right now, that's a very big if, and it could be a major game changer. The Maryland Senate this morning passed a cyber bullying bill called Grace's Law 2.0. It's designed to strengthen a state law passed in 2013, named after 15-year-old Grace McComas, a Woodbine teenager who killed herself when she was being bullied on social media. The new bill imposes up to three years in jail and a $10,000 fine for harassing a minor on the Internet. The law passed the Senate unanimously and now moves to the House. The ACLU opposes the bill, saying it infringes on First Amendment rights to free speech. Stay with WJZ for more. Hi, everyone. I'm Tracy Leong here in D.C. where all eyes are on the cherry trees. There's more than 3,000 here in the city. They're expected to peak bloom around March 17th through the 
20th. The festival starts on the 20th. It typically attracts more than a million visitors to help celebrate the start of spring. For now, thanks for stopping by. Much more on these stories coming up on WJZ at 4, 5, and 6.